Oh, little kitty, what are you trying to do? Kitty wanna be gecko man. <laughs> I understand, but to stick like geckos, you need to have superpowers like geckos. How? Let me share the secret with you all by answering a sticky question. How do geckos stick to walls? Zoom in. Geckos, which belong to the lizard family, come in all shapes and sizes, ranging from little 2-inch creatures to gigantic 24-inch ones. These creatures emerged during the dinosaur era between 180 to 225 million years ago, primarily in tropical and subtropical areas. Fast forward to today, Geckos can be found all around the world and they might even pay a visit to our houses. Yes, you could stumble upon one of these awesome creatures chilling on your rooftop, casually crawling up your walls or even staging epic insect hunts akin to a miniature action movie. This leaves us pondering. How in the world can geckos stick to nearly anything without the use of glue, tapes or spider webs? Well, the answer to this sticky question is hidden in the principle that positive and negative charges attract each other. It's the same attraction that holds compounds like table salt together which consists of positively charged sodium ions bonding with negatively charged chloride ions. Wait a minute, but the gecko's feet and the surfaces they walk on aren't charged. So, what's the secret behind their stickiness? The answer to this lies in the way their feet are engineered and some clever combination of intermolecular forces called Van der Waals forces. And what is that? You see, all those elements we find on the periodic table have different feelings for electrons. Some elements, like oxygen, pull them closer, while others, like hydrogen, aren't as interested in them. This chemical property of elements attracting electrons towards themselves is called electronegativity. However, electrons are skilled at recognizing which atoms want them the most and choose to be pulled toward the atoms with higher electronegativity within a molecule. This creates a thin spot in the electron cloud where the positive charge from the atomic nuclei becomes apparent and a lump of extra electrons forms somewhere else. The cool thing is that the entire molecule doesn't become charged, but it does have charged areas that are slightly positive and other areas that are slightly negative. These patchy charges can cause neighboring molecules to feel attracted to each other. They'll cozy up so that the positive areas on one molecule match with the negative areas on the other. These friendly, uncharged molecule-to-molecule -molecule attractions are called Van der Waals forces. They aren't as strong as the forces between charged particles, but when you have lots of them, they can really add up. But how does it help geckos with incredible stickiness? Well, thanks to the gecko's toes that are covered in microscopic hairs known as setae, which have hundreds of even finer spatula-shaped split ends. When geckos bring their feet near the wall surface, the spatulas hit the perfect angle of the Van der Waals forces to cause the opposite charges to stick together. These forces are weak, but when summed up over millions of hairs, they are enough to attach a lizard to a wall. Trivia time! Did you know, there are around 1,450 species of geckos? Yes, and out of them, around 40% have non-stick feet. It's catching time! 
Today's sketch of the day goes to Anika. Hope you learned something that will stick with you forever. Until next time, it's me, Dr. Binox, zooming out. <laughs> Never mind.